Hi, I'm Michael Carter, and welcome back to another episode of I Wonder. Today, Dr. Lee, I wonder what causes color blindness. So, color and blindness are very interesting topics, and I'm glad you asked me. They're really not blind. They're just confusion. So there's confusion between the colors. So it's really color confusion, but we call it color blindness. But really, if you are completely color blind, and there is such a condition, we call it achromat. So when someone is an achromat, they really see no color. They are truly color blind. And that's because your black and white vision and your color vision derive from different sources in your retina. And you remember, Mr. Michael, uh, how the retina works. The light comes in, is focused on the back of the eye, and then transmitted down the optic nerve. And inside the retina are different types of photoreceptors, and those are called cones. And these cones have differential sensitivity to the various wavelengths of light. And so each cone has a differential sensitivity to that wavelength, and that's what we perceive as color. However, if you have a problem with one of the specific types of cones, then you get color confusion. And the most common is a red-green color confusion. And so these have fancy names, protonope if you're red, deuteranope if you're green, and the least common, tritonope, which is blue. But really, red-green is the most common, and the most common cause of the common thing is an inherited problem X-linked, which means it's carried on the X chromosome. X-linked, red-green color blindness is the most common form of color deficiency or color blindness. And so, Mr. Michael, we use this test, this fishy horror color plates, and this thing was designed to detect this red-green color plate uh, abnormality. And this first plate is a control plate just to make sure they can see and understand the test. And you can see the colored dots in there make up a number. And in a red-green color blind person, they will not be able to distinguish easily the red and the green, and so they might not see this plate at all. Or they may get confused and see a number that actually isn't in there at all. It's a number that only they can see. And so these Ishihara color plates were designed to detect the red-green color blindness. So what is color blindness? It's not really blindness, it's color confusion. There are three different types, the red, the green, the blue. It's determined by the differential wavelength sensitivity from cones, and the most common cause is a congenital, you were born with it, but inherited in an X-linked, from your X chromosome, X-linked color blindness, and that means males are going to be way more affected because males, like us, only have one X. We are X and a Y. So if you happen to have the color blindness X, you're going to manifest red-green color blindness versus a female who has two Xs that other X can cover up the deficit. And so red-green color blindness is very common and women are the carriers so their son might get their red-green color blindness. But uh, it's men who manifest the red-green color blindness. And so it's not really blind unless you're achromat and we can test for it using the Ishihara or other color plates. Thank you Dr. Lee. You're welcome Michael.